Hey there, summer learners. Welcome to the San Mateo County Library STEAM Camp. My name is Alice and I am a librarian for the Portola Valley and the Woodside Libraries and I'm so happy to be here with you today. Now I'm extra excited about today's activity because it combines two of my absolute favorite things. The first of them is that M part of STEAM which stands for math and the second of those is you might be able to tell from what it says up there behind me ice cream. I really love ice cream and I love math. So whenever I can combine the two, it's amazing. And I got this activity from the Bay Area Discovery Museum. Now before we get going, I want to do a little bit of something to wake up our brains. It's less physical activity than I sometimes do. It's more of a chant. And I want you to repeat after me. I scream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. Can we do it all together? I scream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Yay! Awesome. Thank you for doing that with me. I'm definitely a little bit more awake now. So because I love ice cream so much, I like to go to those ice cream shops where you can kind of build your own ice cream sundae or soft serve sundae. Um, where you can pick your own flavor and your own toppings. So I thought we'd do an ice cream menu from one of those stores today. And I, you can see I already made my menu, but you can make your own, very own menu if you'd like with your favorite flavors. Um, so I started with, I decided to do three flavors because um, I didn't want to get too carried away. Uh, but you can do as many flavors as you want. I once went to an ice cream store that had over a hundred flavors and it was amazing. Um, but I stuck with three for today. Um, so I went with chocolate and mint and raspberry because those are three of my favorites. Um, and then I decided on three toppings too. But again, you can do as many toppings as you like. I usually like to put a whole bunch of different ones on. Sometimes they don't really go together, but you know, it's about experimenting. Um, so I decided to start with sprinkles uh, because, you know, sprinkles are pretty standard topping for ice cream. You have some nice rainbows on them. Um, and then I decided gummy bears are great because they're just so squishy and cute. Um, and then my favorite thing to put on ice cream is chocolate sauce. My picture is kind of iffy on that one, but um, those are three of my favorite toppings. Um, I forgot to say, I decided to give my ice cream and my toppings different prices. So for my ice cream, I decided that they should probably all cost the same because they're basically the same thing, just in different flavors. So they're all going to be 25 cents. But for the toppings, they're a little bit different. So sprinkles, you know, they're classic. They're, everyone has them. So those will be for 10 cents, but I think gummy bears should cost a little bit more. So I decided to make those 11 cents and then chocolate sauce, just because it's the most delicious, I decided it should be 13 cents. And then the last thing I put on my menu that I always like to choose between is to have a cone or a cup. And I, I don't really like eating out of an ice cream cone because it gets drippy everywhere and it drips out the bottom sometimes and it's just a mess. And I eat my ice cream pretty slowly because I really like to savor it. Maybe you eat it faster and it's no problem to have a cone. Uh, but I usually get a cup. So I decided to give people a choice between the two. And the cone I thought might be a little bit cheaper to get than the cup. So the cone is seven cents and the cup is eight cents. So now that we have our menu, and if you wanna pause and make your own menu, you're welcome to do that or you can make your own menu later. But we have our menu now. I wanted to remind ourselves of what coins we might use to buy ice cream at our ice cream shop. Now I put my prices pretty low so people should be able to pay for them with just coins and not bother with like dollar bills and five dollar bills and things like that. So I thought we could go over some of the coins. Um, I wanted to start with, let's see, I wanted to start with the smallest one that we might find. I'm gonna hold this up close. Do you know what this one's called? Oh, I picked a kind of grungy one. Let me pick a shinier one. There's one. Um, so this is, 
I bet you know what it's called, a penny. And a penny is worth one cent. Now, the next smallest coin is this one here. And I bet you also probably know what this one's called. It took me a long time rem to remember what to call this one. This one is a nickel. And a nickel is worth five cents or five pennies. And then, let's see, the next biggest one, or the next smallest one, is this one. Oop, let's see if I can get his head up the right way up. There we go. This one is called... Does anyone remember what it's called? A dime. And I think dimes are kind of funny because they're actually worth 10 cents, but they are smaller than a penny or a nickel. Why do you think that might be? Maybe it's about what they're made of. Maybe it's worth more. And then finally, the last coin we're going to do today, I know there are some bigger ones, but we're just going to use these ones today, is this guy which is a quarter. And a quarter is called a quarter because it's worth a quarter of a dollar. But it's also worth 25 pennies or 25 cents. So now that we've kind of looked at our coins, I actually wanted to think about um, how many, like what other combinations we might be able to use to make a quarter. We can use 25 pennies or we might be able to use some of these other ones to combine to make a quarter. So let's start with the bigger one, which is worth 10. And let's think about if we had two of them. 10 and 10. Does anyone know how much that equals? It equals 20. Um, so what would happen if we added another dime, which would add another 10 to that 20? That would equal, does anyone know? 30. So is 30 bigger or less than 25? 30 is bigger than 25, right? So we actually don't want to use three dimes. We only want to use two. And maybe what if we added this nickel, which is worth five, to these two dimes, which remember were worth 20. Does that make 25? It does. So there are some different ways we could combine, and maybe you can think of even more different ways you could combine these coins to make 25. All right, so now that we've thought about our coins, I'm going to take them off my board here. We probably want to have some customers come to our ice cream shop. So I have someone who's going to join us, and that someone is Ribbit the Frog. Now, Ribbit the Frog has some preferences for ice cream. Ribbit really likes chocolate ice cream because it's kind of like the color of mud and Ribbit likes mud. And Ribbit's also going to get a second scoop of ice cream, which will be mint because that's kind of like a frog in the mud. And to make it seem extra muddy, Ribbit wants to get some chocolate sauce because, you know, that's extra mud-like. And Ribbit's a little small and doesn't have really good hands, so it might be a little hard to eat out of a cone. So Ribbit's going to get a cup. All right, so now that Ribbit has decided which ice cream and toppings and container to get the ice cream in, it's time to figure out what coins Ribbit needs to use to pay. So let's think about it. If we're getting two scoops of ice cream, each of them is worth 25 cents. Well, that's pretty easy, right? We can just take, because we know that we have two coins that are worth 25 cents, so why don't we take two quarters and that will pay for the ice cream part. Now, let's think about the other toppings. So, Ribbit's getting some chocolate sauce. Could we use a quarter to pay for that chocolate sauce? Yeah, we could, but we'd have to make change. So, let's think about how we might be able to pay for the chocolate sauce without having to make any change. Um, so, the chocolate sauce is worth 13. That's less than our biggest coin, but what about our next coin, the dime? The dime is 10. Is that more or less than 13? That's less than 13, right? So, let's go ahead and use the dime and then think about what other coins we might need. So, we have 10 and then 11, 12, 13. That looks like we just need three more cents. 
I actually really like to count on my fingers sometimes when I'm doing math because, you know, it makes it a little easier. I don't want to do it all the time, but it can be useful to help. So we're going to use three more pennies. Two, three. So now we've paid for the chocolate sauce and the ice cream. But we have one more thing we need to pay for, and that is the cup. So let's go ahead and think about that eight. Now is eight, could we use a quarter to pay for that? We could, but again, we'd have to make change. So let's think about how we could do it without making change. What about a 10 cents? Is that more or less than eight? I'm actually gonna put this down and hold it my fingers and think about it. I have 10 fingers, but if I want eight, I can use five fingers and then six, seven, eight. So that's less than 10 because I didn't use all of my fingers. But we can tell now that it's more than a nickel. So I'll use a nickel as part of it. And then how many fingers did we hold up after we had five? We had five fingers and then six, seven, eight. So I have three fingers there. So it looks like for this one, we can also use three pennies. I'll go ahead and put my pennies on here. Two, three. All right, so now Ribbit has paid for the ice cream, but maybe there's a way that Ribbit could pay using fewer coins. What do you think? Do you think we could combine some of these? Let's see, I'm actually gonna sort these. No, maybe not. They're a little hard to move, so we'll, we'll visualize the way it is now. So right now we have two quarters. We can't really reduce those down to less unless we had bigger coins, but we could try maybe reducing, well, we only have one dime and we can't combine that with another dime to make less. Let's try combining our smallest coins and see if we can use fewer that way. So let's see how many pennies we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's look at our fingers again. I really like using my fingers for math. If I have five pennies and then six, so looks like that's one more than five. So I could combine five of those pennies together into a nickel, which is worth five. So let's take away five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll add a nickel. So that's worth the same amount that we just had up here. Now let's take a look at our nickels next and see if we could combine them to make fewer coins. So each nickel is worth five and we have two of them. So if we have five and five, how many does that make? Right, it makes 10. So we could add those nickels together to make a dime. That's pretty cool. So we can get rid of our nickels all together. And now we have a dime. All right, so let's take a look and see if we can add any of these together to, uh, to make it so we have fewer coins. We have two dimes here, but do you remember from earlier, if we only had two dimes, that was less than 25, wasn't it? That was only 20. So those aren't quite enough to make a quarter, to exchange for a quarter, even if we add in that penny, that would only be 21. So it looks like this is the least number of coins that we could use to pay for our ice cream today. So I hope you had fun changing around the coins and coming up with ice cream flavors. I definitely did and I know that Ribbit the Frog did too and Ribbit is pretty excited to eat that ice cream now. So I hope that you will continue to think about different ice creams and how you could combine them to make different amounts of money and I hope that you will also join us again tomorrow for more STEAM Camp. And if you haven't signed up yet for our Summer Learning Challenge, you can still do it. There's still a bit more time until the end of August, and you can get more information at summerlearners.org. And finally, if you want to tell us what flavors you came up with for your ice cream shop and what the coolest combination you had was, or if you just want to tell us your favorite flavor of ice cream, you can do that by tagging us at SMC Libraries or using the hashtag SMCLCreates on social media. 
So thank you again for joining me. Have a great day.